In today's episode, we will talk about what would happen if we could travel faster than light. Let's enjoy it! In general, the laws of physics are the same for all the inertial observers. Besides that, the speed of light is an invariant. But wait a minute, what is an inertial observer? An inertial observer is any person moving at a constant velocity. This includes, of course, the zero velocity condition or repulse. The previously mentioned statements are the two postulates of a special relativity. An example for the first postulate can be seen here. Imagine a soccer ball falling. Rita, in the car moving at a constant speed, will describe the motion of the ball from her perspective. Richard, on the other hand, will do the same from his perspective. Although they might disagree in some details about the ball's motion, they both agree in the laws describing the motion of the ball. The ball's motion is vertical. Oh no, for me it is not vertical. The second postulate of a special relativity suggests that the speed of light in vacuum is invariant with respect to any inertial observer. The speed of light is very important because it defines the causality of space-time. The speed of light represents a limit velocity. Nothing can travel faster than the light in vacuum. But wait a minute, what is the exact meaning of causality? For understanding the meaning of causality, let's take a look at the following examples. In the first example, Chris and Stephanie are colliding. The effect is the collision itself. The cause is that they both decided to move toward each other. We are going to collide. We are colliding. The second example is Michael kicking at the ball. The effect is the ball's motion. The cause is Michael kicking at it. Oh no, it's falling. Another example is a plane falling and Alfredo running away from the scene. For the case of the plane's fall, the effect is the fall itself. The cause is just a mechanical failure. On the other hand, for the case of Alfredo running, the effect is running away from the scene and the cause is just the plane falling near him. But then, what would happen if we could travel faster than the speed of light in a conventional way? Well, in such a case, the causal order would be destroyed. If we could travel faster than the speed of light, then for the case of Chris and Stephanie colliding, there would be observers which would perceive first the collision and subsequently the reason behind the collision. If we could travel faster than the speed of light, then for the case of Michael kicking the ball, some observers would be able to see first the ball's motion and subsequently the reason behind its motion, namely Michael kicking at the ball. Finally, if we could travel faster than the light, then for the case of the plane falling, some observers would perceive Alfredo running first without any apparent reason and subsequently they would perceive the plane's fall. Alfredo would certainly look as a magician in such a case. Additionally, some observers will perceive the plane's fall before it has any mechanical failure. But wait a minute, how can we know that these statements are true? The key concept is inside the diagrams of Minkowski. The diagrams of Minkowski are a geometrical description of the space-time. Each point in the diagram represents a particular event, like the interaction of individuals, collisions, and others. Each object or person defines a Minkowski diagram with the corresponding causality cone observed in the figure. The causality cone contains the events which can be in physical contact with the object or person defining the origin of the diagram. The order of occurrence will never change for such events. In summary, 
running faster than light would be a violation of causality. This would certainly generate a very inconsistent universe because the order of occurrence of pairs of events might change for some inertial observers. Fortunately, the nature protects itself against this by imposing the speed of light as a limit. If you liked this video, please give us a like, share the link, and subscribe to the channel. More videos are coming very soon. Continue with us.